Welcome to Heidi and Conan Gold Prospecting, the Stanislaus in Northern California. If you're happy and you know it, so you smash that like far. button. And you don't want to push, push it too, too far. far. Hi guys. Time to get in the water. Heidi and Conan Gold Prospecting, made in the USA. We're here, guys. What are you doing here, dear? Let's do it. This is a lot of fun, guys. Check this out, guys. Funny, you got my foot wet. I did. We're gonna keep going. I don't think this has anything in it. Oh, maybe. And that was awesome. Placer gold is what was found in this area. Look what we got here. Should we get out there? We shall. Woo! This is what I'm talking about. Let's see what we got. Risk it for the biscuit. And there's some more gold right there. And that was Santy Slot. What was it? That was Stanny Sloss. Let me show you a little bit of it here. Woo. Guys, that's why you don't want to be claim jumping. Well, guys, here we are. We're coming in the road. Getting ready to pan in the Stanislaus River. This is the easy part of the road, which has pavement. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Conan's found yet another crazy road for us to traverse down. Well, we're gonna fight our way back there. You go down this road for about three miles uh, until you go over a creek. Uh, I'll bring you back, show you where we go over the creek. Heidi and Conan Gold Prospecting, we like to show you right where to be. Uh, so if you watch this video, you're gonna be able to come back here yourself. Yeah. This is a lot of fun, guys, too. If you enjoy off-roading, if you enjoy 4 by 4 we have seen plenty of people risk it for the biscuit back here. Yes. Now, we are in Ptolemine County here. Uh, this is the south fork of the Stanislaus River. And uh, for this area, uh, a lot of the gold, uh, placer gold, is what was found in this area. And it was primarily found in the rough hummocks of limestone. That guy right there. And they will contain pockets of material. And it's in those virgin pockets of material that you're gonna find your best, uh, your best gold. So we're gonna be checking on the river. And a big part of it on the river is you're gonna wanna look and see where's easy to get to and where have people looked already and go somewhere else. Uh, this is a public panning area. This is not claimable. Most of the territory in this area is claimed. So there is not a lot of place uh, you can go in public pan uh, in this region. Wow, the geology back here is just amazing. Now here's the little creek. Ah, that's not a great shot. Dude. That's the little creek. You go over that. And then you're gonna go around this bend here. You see all this beautiful rock, guys. That little creek back there is all claimed up, so do not pan in that creek. You will be on someone else's claim. Uh, and you definitely don't want to do that. Here's one of the first pullouts. You can see someone's down there. There's a place here you can park. We're going to pull up to the next parking spot. You get about you get about three quarters of a mile of this creek that's public panning. Uh, it's from uh, almost down to that uh, little creek down there. Not quite. 
and then it runs up to an LDMA camp, which would be just amazing to go pan at. But uh, we're gonna walk down there. I think this is your pullout. Guys, that's why you don't want to be claim jumping. We're here, guys. We got some new supplies from that wonderful prospector shop. And Heidi got me a new little lightweight shovel. Check it out. Made in the USA. Check this out, guys. One of the best river sluices. I love the Hungarian riffles, the drop riffles, and then just good old miner's moss. It's got a nice indicator V mat right up here at the top. Look what we got here. Bloop. That was a great prospector shop, wasn't it, honey? It was. Yeah, he was super great. He was super helpful. He gave he us was. a map back here. really talked to us which i appreciated a lot of times with this hobby they just talked to conan but he talked to us and that was awesome yeah he was definitely a real professional if you're looking to have a good time and get good information he was who to talk to he even told you where to look on the river yeah uh, really a great guy so if you want to come here that's the store to go to we checked the others uh, one of them is essentially for kids that, that want to pan around uh, in, in a little bit of paid for dirt. Which and, is super cool because cool. that's a great way to start yeah, kids. And real easy to get to. Should we get out there? We shall. Let's do it. So you can hear the water. I parked up there. Mostly because I didn't feel like driving down this madness. <laughs> it's very rocky, big rocks, big holes. <laughs> so we're going to walk down this. I got behind my sweetie and he's got all the stuff. This is the walk. There he is. We made it. We did make it. And we're live. All right, guys. We made it down here to the standing sloth. So we've got our pan. We've got our half inch and we've got a quarter inch classifier. Woo! So that's really gonna help. We've got our shovel. We've got our pump. We've got our sluice. But the key is guys, you don't just wanna set one of these up and shove dirt through it. You gotta find the place to look. And that's where that gold pan actually comes into play. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the river here. And we're going to test, test, test. You know it. So uh, let's start doing some test pans. We did some the other day. And uh, once we have a spot, we'll bring you back, show you what we got. All right, guys, check this out. We've got all these big rocks on the other side of the shore, up about two, three feet from the water line, probably about where this floods. You can kind of see the flood line that are gonna make natural rippled and drop places. And if you look, that guy right there and that guy right there are your classic hummocks of limestone. So that's gonna have those pockets around it. I think that's where we're gonna test first. Woo! All right, got us over here, guys. And you can see all the dark rocks. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Well, you can see where that high line would be during flood. Lots of dangerous poisonous spiders out here too, guys, in Sonora. Make sure you do your research. I kind of like these little pockets right down in here. 
at that. I'm gonna check not this first pocket. See a rush over here, right? I'm not gonna check there. We're gonna check right up in there. Here's your Kenai Engineering suction pump. If you pull it too far, it won't work. So you don't want to pull it too far. And you don't want to push, push it, it too, too far. Conan far. just loves playing in the water. I do. Down here is where your cons are. See that? Yeah. You hear it, huh? Mm hmm. I figured out how to get it off. Awesome. Well, now we can pan out our first uh, our first suction cons, huh? Yes. Isn't this exciting? This I'm is gonna very exciting. Throw it everywhere. Careful. Oh. We didn't get a lot. Maybe we just wash it back, huh? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? I'm just really excited. I hope we find something, huh? Wouldn't that be awesome? I don't think this has anything in it. Oh, maybe. Well, if you guys look, there's a couple little tiny pieces. Uh, that, that's over 300 mesh, you know. Yeah. But uh, but definitely nothing to write home about. Kind of cool though, the first pan with the suction dredge. We did see some gold. Yep. Went to show you this guy. I brought the magnet from home. Let's take a little walk, and I'll show you what it can do for you. There, you can see the black sand. And so for your area, maybe that's exciting. But what we want to do is scout around and figure out what's good for this area, right? Time to get in the water. A little bit. Ooh, a little bit. Huh. And so you can poke around and kind of get a feel for where the heavies are concentrated. We're gonna keep doing that and do some pans. Bring you back if we find any gold, guys. Just beautiful. All right, guys. One of the challenges back here is, of course, we don't want to disturb any plants. So I did find an area here, relatively free of plants. Well, there's a couple more little uh, dots and spots we found. A little bit more I washed down in here, so we'll collect this one too. That spot wasn't too bad, but nothing too big. I like to get the prettier, more mineralized rocks and throw them in the bucket and the rest sleeps with the fishes. Hey guys, this SPF shirt just saves the day. But let me show you this right here. This is what I'm talking about. If you're digging a hole and you find rocks and gravel and it is that hard to pack and that hard to get anything to move, that's what's going to tell you no one's dug there before. If you can just stick your shovel down in it, it's easy. 
there's no point. You got to be plying and working. And I'm using this shovel to get in and loosen and crevice, and then this shovel to get it in the pan. Let's see what we got. Look at those rocks, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Dark, mineralized, sparkly. And that looks like a candy painted car. No big honking pieces of gold, though. You want to look through this? No, I think you're good to throw. Let's have a look at the uh, quarter mat, huh? All dark, heavy rocks, huh? Mm -hmm. I like to do this over my pan, so if I see a nugget and it falls, it goes in the pan. Huge piece of Mina. All right, sweetie, you want to pick through this? Yeah, it looks great. With Heidi's 100% success rate at this size, I don't think we'll lose anything. They had a good feeling about this pan, though. I do not see anything. Nada! Woo! Got a speed pan in here. Well, I think our new spot definitely has more black sand, sweetie. Mm-hmm. It looks like it. Ooh. Beautiful pyrite. Yeah, like littered with pyrite. The water kind of sparkles from it out here. Mm. All right. Once again, just some real small pieces. Nothing, uh, nothing to write home about. What are you doing here, dear? Well, we got this wonderful crevice down here. A lot of really hard pack rock down in there. And so I went ahead and used the bucket here, put some water in it there, and then I'm using the old suction dredge. Ooh. Ooh, I lost the good stuff. But there it is. That's what you want. Tap it right out of there, kind of rinse it. We all know dirty tools don't work as good as clean tools. Well, put it on there real good, real good, all right? And you want to leave your cons all on the ground. Wash that bedrock or Wash those big rocks down. And this will get that stuff out the shovel just can't get. Did it again. <laughs> I, I see that. You're gonna, you're gonna. It's shoe mining. You don't mind. Okay, I'm actually getting need a, a quick timeout. Heidi's gonna go get us some water so we can mine my shoe. This isn't the first time. If you remember our, my very first video, I dropped everything on my shoe. Something about putting it on my shoe. I guess that's where it goes. Honey, you got my foot wet. I did. Yummy. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep sucking this out. You can kind of hear it. And there you go. Got a whole bucket of water. Not sure what I'm doing here. I 
And there she is. Again, clean tools work best. got too much water on your seal or above your seal you gotta bring it out this thing has a double seal works really well get it back down there you keep your thumb here you're not gonna pinch yourself but it's gonna let you know if that thing's coming well there's a lot of material in there that's why that's why we already got a full load yeah you hear all that shit there it is. So what do you think of this tool, man? I kind of like it. Takes some getting used to. More practice. Yeah. But it's definitely getting a lot of this material. But there's no way I'd get this with the shovel. You know? Yeah. That's working pretty well. You set it in that corner, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at that, she's full. Ooh, well, we about, well, we got more to go here, but how about we pan this out? All right. Take a look, see what we got, huh? Oh. I'm down here and put my feet in this water before I pass out. Oh. Oh. oh, you guys know you're digging up on the bank in the sun, you come down, put your feet in the water, and you know you're gonna live again. Oh. Panning's fun, it's a nice leisure process. Look, it's working. See that? Getting rid of all that dirt for us. Let's get run our hands around here. Got a nice classification. Let's pull her up and see how she looks. Wow. Ooh, that light, yeah. <coughs> wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of those contact zones there. Wow. A lot of these look worth crushing, but uh, you can't take it all, right? Right. Anything in there catch your eye, honey? Mm -hmm. You could grab the one piece I thought looked really nice. There she is. And here's what we got. Didn't bother with the quarter inch. Oh, look at that material. Look at that. Oh, nice heavy stuff. Look at that piece of pyrite. Or no, maybe that's Galena. Galena mixed with other stuff. Mixed with gold. Oh, I think that's good. You dial it back on? Yeah. Yeah? Dial it back. Can I see? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ah. I'm not seeing a ton of black sand. Uh, huh? Some. Some. Not a ton. I guess not what we're used to, right? Yeah. I would not call that a, mm -mm. a great dig, huh? I would not either. I'm not even going to put that in the bucket. Huh? 
No gold. First time out here. Always at least been a piece of flour, huh? All right. Yeah. We'll keep searching. There's some gold right there. Yeah, there's my gold. And there's some more gold right there. You guys. And that was Santy Slot. What was it? That was Stanislaus. It took the words out of my mouth. It is it is a hundred degrees in the car. It's, it's 99. It's hot. It's hot. We're, we're headed back home. Uh, did not fill the bucket. Uh, quality over quantity, you know? Uh, but real excited to see what we got. Yeah, me too. Just yeah. someplace cool and do some banding maybe. Yeah, that's right. We'll be picked up. Yeah. But that sit someplace cool is critical. Now we just gotta fight our way out of here. Ha <laughs> ha! Here's that little bridge over that little creek. It's all claimed up though. No panning down there. Well, I can get a great shot with the tripod right down against the water. All right, guys, check this out. Right up there, can you guys pick that out? I got a point over here. We've got all these big rocks. One more time. There's my sweetie. Well, we sure had a great time visiting Chris in Northern California. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy these pictures of the beautiful sunset we saw on day 17 of our 40-day adventure out west. See you next time.